Ugh, morning. From the camper van, we uh, camped out last night here in the van. And, uh, but it's not what you think. <laughs> we are actually in the long term parking lot of the airport. winter and uh well it's about seven o'clock so it's time for us to go check in for our flight nice and toasty in here <laughs> that noise you probably can hear is the heater running in the van what kind of heater is it s bar yeah it's like what truck drivers use keep their cabs warm while they are sleeping in at night. Yep. It's just a small little regional airport. It's actually an international airport. It's a very small one. It is a violation of airport regulations to leave. benefit of a Midwest airport. There's nobody here. It's so nice. It's so proceeding. Yeah. It's not feel, hectic. Yeah, it doesn't feel as rushed. Airport breakfast. Uh, we'll start boarding in about half an hour. Stable right here of Proof that you're in Iowa in the Midwest. What happens in the cornfield stays in the cornfield. <laughs> That's really funny. Actually, I kind of want that shirt. Nothing tips like a cow. There's usually a bunch of like John Deere merch too. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing runs like a deer. Then we'll have the jetway again. <laughs> TSA line. Which is a mile long. It's all the way down to the baggage claim, so we'll see how long it takes us to get on our flight. Took us about 35 minutes to get through security. When they have the dogs, you don't have to take off your shoes, so that's nice. You just walk right past the dog, and then you kind of rush through, and now we're on the plane train. Woohoo!
rental car and the sun is setting here in Costa Rica. It's always kind of a hassle to get off the plane and get through customs and all that stuff. Um, pro tip if you're coming here to Costa Rica, make sure you have a screenshot of your return flight home of the flight number specifically because that's what they wanted at customs to stamp our passport and our internet wasn't working so we had to go see another guy about how to connect to the Wi-Fi at the airport and then we finally could get it to load to show our return flight number so just make sure you have that and then uh, I recommend Adobe rental cars pick up your car kind of stinks because you have to take a shuttle from the airport to the rental car place but it's not that far um, they're really honest with you and upfront about everything about you know what happens if you get in an accident and insurance and don't move the car and who you can call for help etc etc not that we've ever been in an accident knock on wood I hope we're not but it's nice to know that information and they are really good about explaining it all to you and they seem like a very honest company so heading into Liberia now I stopped at the store to pick up some snacks and some drinks and then we're headed back to um, Hacienda Guachapelin which is our first hotel that we're staying at here in the Liberia Guanacaste area for the first two nights. If you haven't seen our Hacienda Guachapelin video from when we were here before about a year ago I'll put that down in the description box below so you can see they have a ton of really fun on property activities there um, that you can do. Rincon de la Vieja. Yep. And there's, um, it is active. There are hot springs and stuff. So that's what that volcano is. But yeah, really pretty sunset. It is the windy season. It's January. It's also kind of the start of high season for tourism. So there were quite a few people on our plane and going through the airport, but it didn't take too long. Oh, here's a price smart. Yeah, it's like a Costa Rica Costco. But we're gonna go to more of a local supermarket. There's usually just better variety and I like trying authentic Costa Rican snacks and drinks and finding the fruits, the good like produce that's local. So we're gonna hit up a supermarket in Liberia. get it to him though. I'm gonna have to try to send mail it to him I think somehow. But then but he's in Denver and we're not. So we just came out of this store. It's called the Petty. It was like open till 10 p.m. They had a pretty good variety. We got some stuff but I'm excited to try this drink. Tropical just flavored as fruit does. <laughs> so hopefully it's delicious. And then we're gonna head on to Guachapelin for dinner. I always find it kind of funny that there we passed a Walmart. That right there's a Burger King. There's a McDonald's and back there is a Taco Bell. <laughs> it's like come on. So we made it here to Hacienda Guacha Pelin and it's dark already as you can see because the sun sets in Costa Rica at like 5.30 every day and the sun rises at around 6 a.m. every day. That's just what you get when you're close to the equator. Um, so we're just going to go back in here a little bit and chill out next to these um, fire pits area. and rest for a little while and then probably just head to our room and go to bed um, so make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it so that you can see what happens on the rest of our journey we're gonna be here at Hacienda Guachapelin for two nights and then we're gonna head up to the cloud forest in Monteverde so don't miss it and we'll see you then have a good night